Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you are all right. In this video, I want to show you how to grow Cineraria Maritime from seed for your garden. I want to confess, this evergreen dwarf shrub is my garden love. The plant looks great in flower beds. It is beautifully combined with annual bright flowers, such as sage, pelargonium, begonia, and even large rose bushes. Here I have an offer for you. I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up at the bottom below the video. This is very important for the development of the channel, thank you in advance. I grow Cineraria from seed every year, usually a 10 inch or 25 centimeters tall dwarf subshrub. The genus Cineraria is a member of the Asteraceae family and includes 50 species of flowering plants native to southern Africa. Cineraria maritime or silver wormwood is a species from the Mediterranean. Gardeners like Cineraria maritime because it is a very hardy plant and easy to grow. The main decoration of Cineraria is finely cut, silvery white, velvety leaves on homogeneous plants. In hardiness zones 8 to 11, Cineraria can be used as a perennial outdoor plant. When growing Cineraria as an annual, the plants usually do not bloom. But in this case, do not be upset. The flowers of this type of Cineraria are inconspicuous, they will be a poor decoration for the garden. The easiest way to grow Cineraria maritime, in my opinion, is to sow seeds. I usually plant Cineraria seeds in late February or March in seedling pots, lightly sprinkled with fine-grained roasted sand to avoid blackleg development. From above, you need to close the pot for seedlings with glass or film and put the seeds in a well-lit, warm place. The optimum temperature for seed germination is 67 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Shoots this year appeared in one week. In the phase of two true leaves, seedlings need to be transplanted. Cineraria looks luxurious in rockeries and borders in combination with other Mediterranean plants. Silver wormwood can also be grown in pots for balconies and terraces. The plants are ideal for coastal gardens.
growing conditions. Cineraria maritime needs full sunlight. This is a light-loving plant, but it can also grow in partial shade. Cineraria are frost-tolerant down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit or down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. These are very unpretentious plants that grow on any type of soil. They prefer light and sandy soils and are drought tolerant. Always water sparingly, waiting for the substrate to dry. They resist drought very well. I plant seedlings in a permanent place in mid-May. The distance between seedlings is 10 to 12 inches, or 25 to 30 centimeters. In temperate climates, the plant is usually grown as an annual. But if you don't like to sow seeds every year, you can save a few plants in garden pots and propagate cineraria from cuttings the next season. I usually grow cineraria in sunny and semi-shady beds, preparing fertile, well-drained soil. The plant does not tolerate prolonged waterlogging of the soil. Cineraria adds contrast and texture to flower beds and borders. The size and uniform habit also makes Cineraria an ideal plant for growing in containers. If you want to decorate your balcony or terrace, Cineraria is the best choice. In addition to seaside cineraria, gardeners grow flowering hybrid cineraria. This is a rather capricious plant that requires considerable effort to grow. Therefore, I recommend purchasing these plants from garden centers and then propagating them from cuttings after flowering. This is the easiest way to grow cineraria hybrid. I hope you enjoyed the video about growing Cineraria. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support the channel and subscribe, it's important to me. See you later.